All right, so one of the few positives I did hear about the original Zamporta was how easy it was to set up, uh, to set up your layouts. Um, so I tried my best to actually keep it similar to the old style because it was working, people liked it, I liked it. And so, you know, it's what people are used to, so I tried to keep it looking the similar. Even though the code behind is different, the front end is pretty much the same. So these are the current widgets I have installed, right? Uh, yes. And widgets in Zamporta 2 are a bit different than Zamporta 1. Uh, in Zamporta 1, you added widgets to layouts. In Zamporta 2, you don't actually do that. You add links to widgets in your layouts. So let's say we have a uh, widget here, the feature slider. It's got its settings. And let's go to layouts. Now, I already have four layouts uh, created. Uh, let's look at the uh, portal index layout. I'm sorry, the article index layout, which is located right here. All right. So as you can see, I tried to make it look as similar to my, uh, this is Zamporta 1, this is Zamporta 2. They look similar. And I did that on purpose for these demonstrations. All right, so we have our layout. And moving things around it are as simple as before. You do a drag and drop. And you could put things and move them all around. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layout. And what this layout is going to be, it's going to be a layout for announcements. Now, right now, we're showing only announcements. And based on the uh, inheritance system, because there is no existing uh, layout for uh, the announcements articles, it's going to fall back to the regular article layout. So what we're going to do is going to create a new layout. I'm going to call it Articles uh, 7. Let's see, Articles Announcements. And the template is going to be, let's see, what is this template? I don't remember what this template is. Let's look to see what it is on the old one. E okay, there you go. It's going to be EWR Porta 2 articles. Yep, there it is. And the parameters. Now, if I leave this blank, it's going to match any article, uh, any, uh, any time that this template is called. And, but we already have this, so this would be kind of pointless. So let's uh, replace this with, uh, let's see, category, category ID equals 7. And now this does take some programming to know. I know that the category is being passed on this page. I know there is a category ID, and I know 7 is the category for announcements. If, th if we were doing a forum view here, I would do forum node ID, and then the ID of the node itself. But we're doing an article here, so that's how I'm going to do it. And layout priority basically tells it uh, in what order to search for layouts. So the layout priority of this is 7. The layout priority for this one is, I'm sorry, I said 7. I didn't mean 7. I meant uh, the layout priority was 10. Yes. And then the layout priority for this one is also 10, but I'm going to make it 100. So 10 is of a higher priority. So it's going to try to see if it matches this one before it matches that one. So now we have a new layout for that. And as you can see, the layout exists. So instead of loading up the articles layout, it loaded up the articles announcements layout, which is currently empty, which is why there is no sidebar, nothing above, nothing below on this page. So, how do we drag and drop? Now, normally, in the old version, all the widgets were listed down here. But as I said before, you're not adding widgets to your layout anymore. You're adding widget links, links to widgets. So, I'm going to click Add Widget Link. And the first one I'm going to do, um, character. Actually, let's do raw HTML. And I'm going to include the raw HTML widget. Click Save. And it's been placed right here. And I'm going to drag that to the top and click save. 
you do that and now the raw HTML widget has appeared on the top with raw HTML as the title and of course I can change the title to character soul arenas and now when we refresh that it says character soul arenas yep and you know it's it's that simple to add widgets now why am I doing link widget links to widgets instead of widgets themselves and that is simply because if we look at the old li widgets which were called blocks we have uh, the hypertext one it's hypertext raw HTML block one instead of just raw HTML block so if I wanted to have five different uh, raw HTML blocks I would have to make five copies of this block and install each one separately and it was a major pain in the ass so what I did here with, with this layout is we have a raw HTML block up here we click on it we can see it's raw HTML but you'll notice there is a little handlebar uh, I'm sorry a uh, gear bar here and I'm going to show you how that works by adding another raw HTML block down over here click save and what are you going to see when we refresh this page you're going to see two of the same exact block in a row and that's because if we go back to our widgets the raw HTML block this is what I have set up on my page for the global settings for the raw HTML block but if we go back to the layout we'll click on this gear I mentioned before come to an options page and the first option is use default widget options which are the ones I just showed you or I can use custom widget options and what I can do is I can replace all this with some new text or in fact it supports HTML itself and then I can change all the settings and do anything I want with that and so now when we come back here you'll notice that this has a solid bar instead of a uh, dashed bar and the solid bar is telling me that hey this has a customized option page and if we go back here we have a different block and these are both technically the same raw HTML block but they're both using different settings and so uh, I could uh, add all these blocks multiple times with different settings each And that's pretty much how layouts work. So you'll see here I have my forum view. Uh, actually, I'll show uh, create a soul formula. Now, what we have here is forum view create a soul, which is forum number uh, 59, I think. Yes. And we have this. Now, let's uh, edit this setting and change it back to default settings. And the fault settings for the attachment uh, slider, this is an attachment, yeah, the uh, attachment slider is to just find all the attachments on the forums and place it into a slider. So you'll see images, people post weird images because they're on general forums and whatnot. But this, uh, for this uh, widget, we would probably only want to see uh, attachments that relate to this specific forum. So that's where we click the gear, use custom, and set it to only pull attachments from that forum. And then we click save, and now you'll see, hey, now it's only attachments on this forum. And that's basically how organizing widgets into layouts has changed in this new version. In another video, I'll show how to actually make new widgets, but that's going to be a bit more complicated.